What's up, rock stars? Welcome back to Top Rock Real Estate, your go-to source for real estate insights. Are you finding it hard to buy your first home? Well, stick around to learn about the most affordable home type, condominiums. If you're looking for a place to call your own without breaking the bank, we've got the scoop on affordability of condominium living. First things first, what exactly is a condominium? Well, I think about it as the perfect blend between an apartment and a house. Condo is a privately owned unit within a larger building or community, and you get the best of both worlds, your own space without the headache of maintaining a yard. We often refer to a condo as an air lot. That is, you own all of the air, the studs in from inside of your building. Whereas a single family home, you own the whole building and the land. The rest of the building and the land, it's owned in common with all the owners, and that's what makes a condominium different. So if we were gonna dive into why condominiums are a great option for first time home buyers, especially when it comes to affordability, comparing the cost of condominiums versus other housing options. Spoiler alert, you might just be pleasantly surprised about the sales price on average between condos and single family homes, especially in my market, which is the Colorado market or the Denver market specific. Affordability is a key factor and condos often come in with a lower price tag compared to a traditional house. Not only is the initial purchase price more manageable, but you'll find that the maintenance costs are shared among residents, lightening the load on your wallet. So for instance, you may pay an HOA fee and that HOA fee may include insurance. It may include shoveling of snow. It may include maintenance of the roof or of the common elements like the pool and the gym and the other things. If you don't like to mow the lawn, um, you may like a condo. It might be the place for you versus a single family home. Imagine spending your weekends enjoying your favorite amenities without worrying about those things that we talked about, mowing the lawn, fixing the roof. Speaking of amenities, condos win on amenities on a per square foot basis. Condo living often comes with a variety of shared amenities that you'd be hard pressed to find in a standalone home. That would be things like swimming pools, fitness centers, communal spaces with grills, business centers. Condos offer a lifestyle that's both convenient and enjoyable. I live in a condo. Um, I live in a condo and I like it because I'm one block away from a grocery store, two blocks away from another grocery store, another three blocks and I'm at another grocery store. I've got bars, restaurants, and parks around me. It's something that I'd have a really hard time affording if I was in a single family home in this area. Just picture yourself, lounge by the pool, hitting the gym after work, or hosting a barbecue in the common area and it's all part of the property that you purchased. It's like having your own personal space without worrying about uh, maintenance or upkeep. If you're a big fan of community, if you like to meet people, condos can be a great place to do that. You're not gonna meet anybody um, in your private pool at your single family home, but you may meet people that you really like at your condominiums pool. Of course, uh, condos aren't all good. It's also fair to mention that there can be challenges too. Condo associations may have rules and fees. You will need to be more comfortable living with a communal experience, but a little bit of compromise um, can make those perks be worth it. I had a little greenhouse on my deck and they sent me a letter and said, take the greenhouse down, it's no good. If you're an independent person and you don't like living by some of those rules, you may not like it, but if you're price limited, it may be a, the best option for you. So there you have it folks, a quick dive into the affordability of condo living. If you're a first time home buyer looking for a budget friendly option that doesn't sacrifice lifestyle, if you like to live in a more urban setting, a condo might be a perfect fit for you. If you're just starting your home buying journey and you're looking to build equity, if you're looking to own your first piece of real estate, a condo may be a really good stepping stone for you. Okay, if you enjoyed this video and you want more real estate insights, make sure to hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell. We've got plenty more tips and tricks coming your way. I think in my next video, I may talk about condo living specific to Colorado, but thanks for joining us today. And until next time, happy house hunting and thank you rock stars.